A seriously groundbreaking study was published basically right after I started reading about this ancient flower. A study published in March of 2025 by a student at UC Berkeley majoring in anthropology clearly demonstrates just how rare the Egyptian blue lotus really is. I'd recommend giving it a read, but in short, he was unable to obtain a real specimen of Nymphaea cerulea from any online vendors, and in his search for answers, he did the one thing any competent person does when seeking the truth. In a Reddit conversation about the Blue Lotus, Liam McEvoy reached out to a user claiming to have a legitimate Blue Lotus plant, and the user graciously sent him a sample for analysis. Botanist confirmed its authenticity, and using the latest methods of gas chromatography, McEvoy was able to accurately assess the plant's chemical composition. Compared to the samples from online vendors, much higher levels of nuciferine were found. This study serves as a prime example that our understanding of the Blue Lotus and its use in ancient Egypt is far from complete. It also suggests that the majority of online stores selling what are claimed to be real Egyptian Blue Lotus flowers are most likely selling different lotuses. Nonetheless, McEvoy's research is still ongoing, and in the coming months, tests on various Egyptian drinking vessels as well as more rigorous chemical testing on the plant will be done. From this investigation, McEvoy believes the specimen here may be the only living Egyptian blue lotus in any university botanical garden in the country.